Well, guys, we got Total Rush Team 2 leaks, and it, the, the team looks insane. We saw Messi, I think, yesterday we saw, and it, it just gets better. It just looks insane. I mean, you can't pack anybody, but that's a story for another day. And then also, a new promo has been leaked. Dynasties makes its return, which I think was not in the game last year, and then it's back from FIFA 23, I want to say. I could be wrong about that. Big SBC leaks. There's like a million things to talk about. Let's just not waste your time. And Miroslav closes a pyramid scheme, by the way, guys. He's 568. If you watch my second channel, you, you see me use him. Uh, he's now like 700k. I don't know what the hell's going on here. He, he's very good, so I'm not saying he sucks, but he's just like, buy this card, you make coins. I don't know what's going on here but i don't know why i started talking about that right now if you guys would like to buy coins you can go to mmoxp.com there will be a link in the description they are the cheapest and safest option you can use my code jfc at checkout for a five percent discount thank you guys for being here if you are new subscribe for awful content daily i also lied to you the base icon upgrade i said i'd have for today's video i don't have it i was like i, I couldn't get fodder I, I could not get fodder i'm not dropping fifa points to go buy an untradable pack to open this for you guys like i, I don't have any fodder i don't know where to get it probably can complete like 186 squad right now but i don't have the fodder i don't know how we're supposed to get all these these uh these high rated cards for all these spcs out right now well no i do know how we're, we're supposed to and you know how as well but they're through, through gameplay it's pretty tough right now and maybe that's kind of the uh the point of the the big catalog we've got here is a lot of player options you're not supposed to be able to do every single one of them for free of course but if you were to ask me i would say if you spend eight hours a day on the game you probably should get all the content Maybe that's uh, an archaic mid-2000s way of thinking about gaming, but Jesus Christ, there's 26 player SBCs right now, and I can do, like, one of them. <laughs> and I play this game borderline for a job. And also, if you've been playing on this new patch, let me know if you actually have noticed any differences. We played it on our second channel, and we were like, didn't really notice much, but I didn't play against five back, so it's kind of hard to say. I did notice the lob through passes being worse, though, but anyway. Here we go. Let's begin with the leaks. It's Ultimate Dynasties. Dynasties icon there. We have that card design leaf we've got the evolution dynasty card design there and we've also got the regular dynasties card design never mind this was definitely last year play style pluses are here i don't know why i thought it was two years ago it was not this whole promo was basically themed around family members right you've got all the family members being in the promo so i'm assuming it'll be the, the same type again and there were some pretty usable cards here an aerial plus erling holland right this revolta was expensive for a while there's a lot of pretty high-end cards here actually for, and it'll be the first promo with icons it looks like this year and also this card design is confirmed now from foot scoreboard to be trailblazers so that is kind of what we thought but we still weren't sure now we know for sure and now on to the total rush team two leaks first player neymar we saw messi yesterday and di lorenzo spc right now i guess the third player is neymar i use him on the second channel he i loved him this card is probably going to be very expensive so exciting but also like can you afford him probably not same goes with mo salah mo salah is also leaked to be in the team uh exciting but then also can you afford him probably not but it'll be a fun card to look at <laughs> at least we've got that going for us but stats are also prediction on all of these I believe today. I don't think any of them are confirmed. And then we got this SBC leaks next, which is Crystal Dunn, who of course links perfectly to Swanson and Morgan. Probably the best midfielder in that league. She's gonna be even more juice now. EA really are doing the whole have every SBC linked to each other to entice you to complete more of the player SBCs that are relatively somewhat expensive, right? That's the whole goal, and holy shit, they're making it real obvious this year. It's kind of like a terrible thing either because then it makes, like, linking cards easier, I guess, uh, but also at the same time, there's definitely some financial incentive here. Let's not get that fucked up. I don't know. What do you what do you think about that? It keeps going. The last player before we got the whole team leak was Alexia Puteas, who obviously mommy is very, very good in this game i haven't used her yet but she has destroyed me a couple times here is the full team let's zoom in a little bit so we can get a better look we saw the first three robert Lewandowski is in the promo as well or inverts makes it in the team somehow Ospos, tamori it's a bitzer zaire emery guerrero tiki taka plus and dombele this promo team looks pretty incredible the whole top six or seven if we start from tamori skip over Ospos. sorry Ospos is an insane first six cards in the promo there are seven cards you might think okay well how would the market be affected by this if the promo team is really really good well to be fair i mean the, the pack weight for the first team wasn't awful it seemed like on the store packs wise because we had some cards that were relatively cheap like marquinhos wasn't that expensive right rent is 329 like that's not cheap but also he could be more expensive than that like theoretically if the pack weight was horrible the low being 215 kind of a similar thing so i don't think it's going to be a case where they're so expensive that the market even goes up more because sometimes that happens if the if the promo team coming in is very very expensive the market actually goes up i think 
think that it'll be kind of like your standard promo team that will cause some sort of selling, but not also crash the market, but then not also make the market go up. It'll kind of be that like in-between, which means the market schedule probably stays relatively the same to me, where Sunday sell-off is going to be crazy. There's going to be a lot of weekendly demand right now. If you guys didn't make coins, by the way, uh, over last night, I don't know what you were doing. Just buy cards half an hour after Rivals Rewards and wait, and they're all up again. It's the easiest way to make a million coins right now. But yeah, one last look at this promo team here. What do you think about it? What do you think about the pack weight so far for Total Rush? You don't want it to be too good this early on, I guess, but I'm seeing nobody pack like any Total Rush cards, which is kind of funny. Also, I know it's probably fits for only a few of you out there, but if you've played on PC version of FIFA and the console version of FIFA, has the PC version of FIFA been more responsive? I'm assuming it's not like immune to bad gameplay per se, but I do wonder if it's like a placebo effect for these people going on PC or if it actually is much smoother on a PC than it is on a console. If you guys have played on both or just have a general PC experience, let me know in the comments. Let us know in the comments. And also, the, the whole substitution thing that does not happen instantly... That I'm assuming is a bug. I, I don't I don't know how on earth they would think that that's a good idea. Whoever made that, there's no way they play a, anything that's online. It must be like an offline realism thing. Uh, but the sub is not coming on right away is ridiculous. You want to pause the game like 55th minute now to make a sub. And then they might not come on until the 70th still. Just awful decision. I don't know who the hell made that decision, but not a good one. I was just scrolling through Twitter and I saw this. I played two games of Rivals. Two. All the opponents have done is Trevella it. Look at the state of these goals. This is after after a nerf. Never start to get excited because EA wrote down some words. They can't fix anything proper, Cowboys. Here's a clip here. There's like five Travellas in two games in the lead division, so... I don't know. And apparently the nerf didn't do a whole lot, I guess, because there's Vinny with the Travella there. Uh, Teo Hernandez with the Travella. Oh, Jesus Christ, guys. We might be in big, big trouble. That's not good. And uh, yeah, it just keeps going. So I don't know. We'll have to see. But if you guys have been conceding some uh, ridiculous goals, still Travellas specifically post patch, then let me know. Because then there was this tweet too, where it's Travellas outside the box are completely dead. This guy says, it's like, okay, well, I just saw it. somebody score five of them. Driven pass is a lot slower. Five back seems untouched. Attacking AI makes more runs now i don't know i just if you played a lot of games let me know in the comments but nobody seems to be able to make their mind up right now on what exactly is going on and there are some pack leaks but they're only store packs so i'm not even gonna bother really showing you they're all untradeable so they won't affect the market at all so yeah not really much to say about that lots of xp now available though so many different game modes so many x so many xp so much xp available right now that get your grind back on we got what like two weeks left of the season i think and they released what fifteen thousand plus xp today so yeah there was also some really big news news in this update with an update to rush and rush goalkeepers now have a deflector plus play style so they're going to be able to parry shots much better and then also rush match xp decreased and what donk means by this is that if you are afk in the game the match rating system is going to be harsh to you it's going to give you like almost no xp for rubber banding basically i think that's like their goal here is that they don't want to vote to kick system in case it gets abused by people who are not using it correctly i think what their solution was i guess was uh, try and figure out what players are, are playing AFK and then decrease their XP by a substantial amount. Apparently, that is what they've done here. Uh, whether that will actually change things, I don't know yet, but I do think it's nice that the Rush Goalkeepers now deflector plus two. They, you know, there's a lot of parry goals, a lot of rebound goals out there, but it is nice to see that they are at least acknowledging and addressing the AFK and Rush problem, the rubber banding and Rush problem by decreasing the XP for those people. Theoretically, we'll see if that actually makes a difference, but that's what the update did we talked about the market some already so i'll kind of leave it at that i think if there's questions or anything let me know in the comments as well but let's read the comments now jamie says proud of myself just did not complete the bonus rivals rewards last night and i don't care got home from a match last night was tired and went to bed don't care about packs free yourself from the fomo it's really hard it's easier said than done of course but free yourself from that fomo if you don't feel like playing rivals then just don't do it don't be afraid oh my god my team is gonna be so far behind and i don't get those shit rivals rewards when i open my 100k pack or whatever the hell and i get nothing thing in it most important thing really is just to enjoy your time playing the game as much as you possibly can and archie says anyone else still waiting on their first promo card pack weight feels non-existent this year yeah it's hard to say because like it's so early on that i don't want to jump to it too quickly it's like it's october i don't want to jump the gun too quickly but of course there's hella store packs out so in that case you would think that people who spend money can pack stuff but people who
people who can't spend money or don't spend money is gonna be a lot harder but i don't know what do you think about the pack weight being bad early on do you think it's fine or do you think that it's just a wait and see type thing or do you think it does suck the top comment yesterday was just like yeah burnt out gameplay too inconsistent sometimes the games are fun but most times it feels lagged to do, like too lagged to do anything sorry who likes rush and how is it better than volta was i think rush is still very fun with friends just when you're playing alone i'm sure it can get really annoying but the burnout thing i do think is legit i think that they need to really think about that this year and think about just is it too much or you know they want to have it so i'm assuming there's a variety of things to do play rivals or squad battles or weekend league or this or that right which that's not a bad thing but everything's every game mode so competitive your game mode balance i've gone to this a million times you know it's terrible so there's a lot of factors at play here to lead to like the burnout of fans maybe that maybe that won't happen but a lot of people so far very early on are looking burnt out and if the gameplay isn't great with all these games you want us to play then it's gonna happen a lot sooner this year and i think that you know at the end of the day the gameplay does mean a lot he probably doesn't think it does i'm telling you the gameplay does mean a lot when it comes to the longevity of the game itself and how many people are still playing it come the summer months right but of course let me know in the comments what you think and uh thank you for being here have a wonderful weekend have a great friday and i'll be all things